Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office selectionary. And today I do want to deviate a little bit from looking at lessons for uh, morning and evening prayer because I want to actually talk about today's feast day. Now, yesterday we celebrated All Saints Day, right? Uh, and we talked a little bit about the reading from the Book of Wisdom concerning the saints. And we believe in the communion of saints in the sense of all believers are called to be the holy people of God. And so we're, we'll, Paul referred to us as the saints of God. Uh, and yet, more specifically for All Saints Day, we're talking about those people who've lived lives of heroic virtue. Uh, and because of that sanctity, are recognized by the church as having a special place, uh, both that they are in heaven in the beatific uh, vision with God, uh, as well as a special uh, ability for us to look at them, to emulate it, how it is that they've achieved holiness, and ask them to pray for us as well. Now, today's feast day is All Souls Day. In other words, or all the faithful departed is another way of saying it. So let me give you the collect, and then we'll go from there. The collect for today is, O God, the creator and redeemer of all them that believe, Grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that as they have ever desired thy merciful pardon, so by the supplications of their brethren they may receive the same, who livest and reignest with the Father in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. So on today we are praying for the repose of the souls of our own beloved dead, those who have been members of this parish, those who have been members of our family and our friends. We pray for them. Now, why would we pray for them if they're already dead? Well, in the great economy of salvation, we continue to interact with those who have gone before us. Uh, they are, in fact, alive in Jesus Christ. And just as we could ask the saints to pray for us, I'm the saints here on earth, right? We ask each other to pray for us. I mean, I'm having some surgery coming up this week, uh, a little minor procedure on Thursday. Please pray for me, right? And just as I would ask you to pray for me, I will also ask those saints who are alive in Jesus to pray for me. They're not the end of my intention because our only mediator and advocate is ultimately Jesus Christ. But it is a nice comfort and a special thing for us to have holy people praying for us as well. And I do believe that the saints uh, can be a part of the big picture of what's going on in the life of prayer in the church, because we are connected to them through Jesus Christ. One of the things that we do on All Souls Day is we have what is known as a Requiem Mass. Uh, and the word Requiem comes from the beginning of the service, which translated into English is, Rest eternal grand unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Requiem aeternum are the opening words of the Mass, and that's why it's called a Requiem Mass. And we are asking God to grant rest eternal to those who have died. Uh, and one of the things that we do, and today we're going to have 10 o'clock service at Elmwood Cemetery in their chapel, because that's where the majority of our parishioners, the first 70 years of the life of this parish, maybe 80 years, the majority are buried at Elmwood Cemetery. Then, of course, we will have our second Mass at 1215 in our chapel because we have our columbarium. And again, lots of our friends and family are buried right within the confines of our building. And again, we will pray for them. And you have submitted names of people you want remembered at the altar, and we will do so at that 1215 Mass. One of the things we pray is something called the D.A.C. Ray. Now, if you're a music fan, you know Mozart's Requiem, and you know D.A.C. Ray. Dies ila, right? Those are the opening words in Latin of the D.A.C. Ray. Uh, and it's in English, it's day of wrath and doom impending. David's word with sibyls blending, heaven and earth in ashes ending. Oh, what fear man's bosom rendeth, when from heaven the judge descendeth on whose sentence all dependeth. Wondrous sound the trumpet flingeth, through earth's sepulchres it ringeth, all before the throne it bringeth. And it goes on for paragraph after paragraph. It talks about the fact that we are interceding to God to have mercy upon us. And we know that it is, in fact, his, his property is to always have mercy. But we are reminded throughout this wonderful poem that we say, and it, and it can be sung as well if you want to listen to it uh, in, a pro, in, a, in, a, in a mass setting, uh, wonderful things where we talk about the understanding the realization that it is by God's mercy that we receive the forgiveness of sins and therefore the gift of eternal life. So today is, in a way, it seems like such a maudlin day, all right, a mournful day, because we remember those who've died. But on the other hand, it is a day with the great hope and expectation of the gift of eternal life. And for that, 
we are grateful. That free gift from God through Jesus Christ. And I do hope that you'll join us either at 10 o'clock at Elmwood Cemetery on the east side of Detroit or 1215 here in our chapel, or you can watch that 1215 service on our live stream. And I pray that you have a whole soul's day that is full of blessings.